You all know it. Either you are stuck at home staring at your computer screen all day, reading news, being seduced by those new awesome gamer releases, or maybe you came home from work, you're exhausted and all that you can think about is that steak and the new episode of Mandalorian that you are gonna watch. We all have been there. Sometimes you are just not motivated enough to really finish those miniatures that you were supposed to paint weeks ago and as the time passes you just hoard new grey plastic, start new projects and forget about the other ones. Now of course this happened to me as well this summer, between various vacations and work I didn't really have time to focus on painting my little plastic dudes. At the same time I started reading a book called Atomic Habits, which I would highly recommend because there are so many things that translate so well to miniature painting hobby and that's what I wanted to share with you today. So if you personally feel like you are not motivated enough or if you wanna improve at miniature painting in general or you just wanna paint more, this video is gonna give you very specific advice on what to do. Now also also, just before the video begins, as you can see just a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you will like what you see, consider subscribing, it's absolutely free and you can always change your mind later. I'm not gonna talk about some generic advice like just do it or imagine what your army will look like once you're done, because like yes, motivation is important and you can get over a few projects like if you have just one army to do or just one board game to paint, sure. But in general, if you want to improve and paint more, motivation is not enough. What you should really focus on is building habits and your goal is to become a person that does this stuff. First, I want to talk about setting this goal and later we will talk about habits. So bear with me for a bit, it's all gonna make more sense. So a good example of this is losing weight. Because ultimately your goal in that case shouldn't be I want to lose 20 pounds, but rather set a goal like I want to be a person that takes care of his or her body. If you set a goal like losing 20 pounds, you can simply go on a diet for a bit, but if you don't change your identity, in the long run you will go back to your old habits and gain that weight back. But if you do change your identity and you want to build habits that correspond with that identity, your chances that you are gonna stay fit will be significantly higher, since if you tell yourself that you are this person that takes care of his or her body, it's not like you lose 20 pounds and you are done, but you will actively every day choose to proceed with your habits since that is who you are. Now when it comes to painting miniatures the same thing applies. Sure if you want to paint one or two armies or one board game and that's it you don't have to set a goal of becoming a person that regularly paints but if that is true for you I'm not sure that you need this advice. However if you are a person that genuinely wants to improve or paint more miniatures, you should set a goal of becoming this person that paints more and not just set a goal of finishing one project after the other. Because if you do set a goal of becoming better miniature painter or even better, you call yourself a miniature painter that is constantly improving, you will build habits around this personality and you will not lose your drive once you are finished with one of your projects. And at the same time, you want to become a person that paints regularly or on a regular basis. And now that we have the foundation, let's talk about habits that will help you paint more. The first thing that is very easy to do is to surround yourself with things that will remind you to paint more. So for example, if you spend a lot of time on Instagram or Facebook, you can simply follow groups or profiles that post a lot of miniature painting stuff and you can unfollow stuff that doesn't really help you with that. For example, there are groups like Painters Motivating Painters, where you actually have a chance to get feedback from Vince Venturella, or miniature painting tips and tricks, or many, many more. Honestly, you can just search for those on Facebook. The same is true for Instagram. If you know about painters that you really like, follow them there and that way you will always be looking at some miniatures, which actually helps you with inspiration and it will also motivate you to paint more. On YouTube, stop following drama channels and follow instead those miniature painting YouTubers like Vince Venturella, Squidmar Miniatures, Miniac, Ninjon, Trovarium, Goobertown Hobbies, Midwinter Miniatures and many many more. There are so many miniature painting channels, these are just some of them and they will inspire you and motivate you to paint more. This actually comes hand in hand with my next tip and that is lessen the friction. One of the 
the key ideas of the Atomic Habits book is that you should create an environment that will make it easy for you to do things that you want and to not do things that you want to avoid. So the worst thing that you can do in this regard is to have your miniature painting tools hidden somewhere in the cabinet and every time you want to paint you have to reach it and it just takes a lot of work to start. Sometimes when it takes just that little extra effort you will not go for it. The things are even worse if you have to go for your tools to your garage or basement. The easier it is for you to start painting the more likely it is that you are gonna do it. So I personally have to always see some unpainted miniature on my working desk so I am reminded that I should paint it and I always have my tools ready. For example I have always by my side my wet palette and a bottle of water so I can start whenever I want and I don't have to go to kitchen sink to get the water. You can use for example a bottle like this, it's easy that way to refill water in your wet palette. Regarding the wet palette, sure you can make your own homemade one but I am using this Redgrass Games one and even if I go on a vacation I can paint there since this one is easily transferable and Redgrass also offers these pre-cut hydration sheets so I don't have to cut my own parchment paper which lessens the friction even more. Whenever I wanna start I reach my water bottle, put it down the hydration sheet and pour some water over that bitch. It's that easy. I don't have to go set up anything anywhere or cut anything. So the more you make it easy for yourself to start painting by having painting tools by your side instead of your basement or whatever, the better it is for you. Furthermore, it is always a good idea to buy hobby products that will save you time. So for example, if you are using oil washes, sure, you can buy an oil paint and mix it yourself or you can buy pre-mixed oil wash or animal wash. There are many more hobby products that can save you time and lessen the friction, so it's easier for you to start painting, but I'm sure that you will figure it out. And if you do, go ahead and leave that tip down in the comment section. The third tip is kinda similar, but has more sides to it. You should make it easy to paint and hard to not paint. Whenever you are painting, reward yourself while doing it. You can listen to your favorite music or listen to an audiobook, Speaking of which, now is a good time to talk about today's sponsor, Audible. No, no, I'm just kidding. For now. Or you can even listen to your favorite podcasts, like Trapped Under Plastic, podcast for the miniature hobby enthusiasts. I personally even like turning on videos from Vince Venturella. Or another recommendation is Miniature Myth Busting from Trevarian and Vince, only if there were more episodes. Anyway, by listening to something that you like, it will be so much easier for you to continue painting. However, I would also recommend listening to podcasts only and only when you are painting, so you reward yourself for that habit. Creating less friction is definitely a way to make it easy for yourself to paint more miniatures, but now you can take it step further and make it hard for yourself to not paint. For example, if you have trouble focusing on painting because you constantly get Facebook notifications or emails, simply leave your cell phone in another room out of your reach. If you are seduced by games that you have on your computer, you can uninstall them if you want to be extreme about it. Basically, any bad habits that prevent you from painting more should be made hard to do. The same thing applies for losing weight. You might be disciplined enough to not eat that cheesecake in your fridge for a while, but if you are gonna stare at it every time you open the fridge, eventually you are gonna eat it. So the best way to prevent this from happening is to not have the cheesecake around at all. So just put things that distract you out of your reach, increase friction of doing those things and that will help you focus on painting more. Set an easy goal. Now this doesn't really mean that you should set a goal of finishing something, but rather a goal of building very easy repeatable habit. Ninjon talked about this in the podcast Trapped Under Plastic, show for miniature hobby enthusiasts. And he said that setting a goal of just putting a paint on your brush every single day is a good idea. And I have to absolutely agree. By having a goal of just putting some paint on your brush every single day, you are setting up something that is really, really easy, since like it can take you just one minute to do that and you can be done. Now keep in mind that the worst part of any activity is actually starting it. By setting a goal of just putting some paint on your brush, many times you will actually tell yourself, ah, f it. 
let's paint some miniatures. Yes, you can definitely stop at that point and decide that maybe you don't want to proceed and paint any miniature, but as long as you keep on doing this every single day, there will be many times where it turns into a whole painting session. In the book Atomic Habits, James Clear says that when he started hitting the gym, he set a goal of just being in the gym for 5 minutes and after that he could leave. Because the worst part is actually going to the gym, not the exercising itself. At the same time, he says that it sometimes happens that you miss a day of your habit, and yes, that might happen even though you should aim to repeat the habit every single day, but if you fail to do it one day, never let it be two days in a row. That's his ultimate rule. One of the great advantages of this over setting a goal like I want to paint one miniature a week is that you don't have control over how long it will take you to paint one miniature to the level that you want. Maybe it will take you two weeks to paint one miniature until you're happy with it. Maybe it will take you three hours. You don't really have a control over how long does the project take you, but you surely do have control over putting some paint on your brush every single day. Of course, depending on your project, a deadline might help you as well, but in general, it's better to set an easy repeatable habit. Stop aiming for perfection. This might sound a little bit odd, but I personally think that if you are not painting for a competition, it might be better to focus on painting more miniatures instead of pushing one piece to a really, really high level. Of course, if you do enjoy pushing one miniature to that really, really high level, where you do everything with non-metallic metal, you edge highlight every single piece of the miniature, well, that is cool. You can do that, but you see, getting that miniature to those last few percentage points where it goes from looking really, really good to freaking fantastic, it costs you so much time that you might get demotivated and you actually can get way more done or even learn more by moving on to paint other pieces. And I am not really talking about painting 1055 marines, but rather moving on from one character miniature to another. Starting something from start is always quite refreshing, so when you know that you are gonna paint another miniature, you will be motivated and excited to start with it. This is also a good idea if your end goal is to improve at miniature painting. There was a case in the University of Florida where teachers separated students into two groups that had to submit photos. There was a quantity group and a quality group. The quantity group had to submit 100 photos and they were graded just by the quantity that they produced. On the other hand, quality group had to submit just one photo, but it had to be perfect in order to get an A. At the end of the semester, professor compared photos from both groups and he found out that better photos were all from quantity group. So as you can see, sometimes rather than chasing perfection, it's better to just produce more and quality will show itself eventually. Of course, this doesn't mean that you can just focus on painting the tabletop standard or doing the same thing over and over again and expect to improve, but as Vince V would say, you still have to be in deliberate practice and push yourself to learn new things, but not necessarily stress over perfection. However, as I already said, there will be times where you do have to push yourself to finish your project to perfection if you want to succeed in a competition, but most of the time starting something new and interesting will keep you motivated and happy. For example, when I painted my Sons of the Phoenix army, I blacklined every single recess and highlighted every single edge and it was really frustrating. At that point, if I had to do it again, I would paint a few marines and then start a Marvel Crisis Protocol character or something like that to break up the routine and keep myself motivated. So to sum it up, build an identity of miniature painter that is painting on a regular basis, surround yourself with things that will remind you to paint more, lessen the friction of painting, make it easy to paint and hard to not paint, set an easy daily habit that might lead to painting, stop aiming for perfection. Of course, there can be so much more that can be said about building habits and environment that will help you paint more, so if you guys have some tips for others, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. If you like what I'm doing here, definitely subscribe to my channel so you will know when the next video comes. And lastly, if you want to help others get better at painting miniatures, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that way YouTube gods will know that they should take this video and recommend it to them. And see you guys next time! Bye.